Yes friends, how are you? How's your life going on? Today we are going to talk about uh, GPFS. GPFS stands for General Parallel File Systems. So GPFS is a clustered file system defined over multiple nodes. GPFS is a high performance scalable file system designed for cluster environments. It allows users shared access. Yes, friends, it allows users shared access to files that may span multiple disk drives on multiple nodes. It offers many of the standard Unix file system interfaces, interfaces allowing most applications to execute without modification or recompiling. Unix file system utilities are also supported by GPFS. It allows both parallel and serial applications running on different nodes to share data spanning multiple disk drives attached to multiple nodes. Explosions of data, transactions and digitally aware devices are stunning IT infrastructure and operations while storage cost and user expectations are increasing. The IBM General Parallel File System High Performance Enterprise File Management can help you move beyond simply adding storage to optimizing data management. So friends, High Performance Enterprise File Management using GPFS gives your business such as seamless capacity expansion to handle the above growth of uh, digital information and improve efficiency through enterprise-wide interdepartmental information sharing. Next, high reliability availability to eliminate production outages and provide disruption-free maintenance and capacity upgrades. Performance to, uh, to satisfy the most demanding applications, policy-driven automation to ease information lifecycle management, extensible management and monitoring infrastructure to simplify file system administration, <coughs> cost-effective disaster recovery and business continuity. GPFS provides online storage management, scalable access and integrated information lifecycle management tools capable of managing petabytes of data and billions of files, virtualizing your file storage space and allowing multiple systems and applications to share common pools of storage provides you the flexibility to transparently and administer the infrastructure without disrupting applications, improving cost and energy efficiency while reducing management overhead. So massive namespace support, seamless capacity and performance scaling along with proven reliability features and flexible architecture of GPFS helps your company foster improvement by simplifying your environment and, and streamlining data workflows for increased efficiency. So handling the explosive growth of digital information more efficiently. GPFS, next, GPFS provides several essential services to allow you to effectively manage growing, growing quantities of unstructured data. GPFS leverages its <coughs> cluster architecture to provide quicker access to your file data File data is automatically spread across multiple storage devices, providing optimal use of your available storage to deliver high performance. Okay. Next, GPFS differs significantly from NFS. NFS stands for Network File System. With GPFS, there is no single server bottleneck or protocol overhead for data transfer. GPFS takes file management beyond a single system by providing scalable access from multiple systems to a global namespace. Next, GPFS interacts with applications like a local file system but is designed to deliver high performance, scalability and fault tolerance by allowing access to the data from multiple systems directly and in parallel. Next, GPFS allows multiple applications or users to share access to a single file simultaneously while maintaining file data integrity. 
for ex uh, for example multiple animators or editors can work on different parts of a single video file from multiple workstation at the same time this capability helps you reduce the amount of storage and management overhead required to maintain several copies of the source file next gpfs uses fine grained locking based on sophisticated scalable token lock management system to help ensure data consistency during concurrent access and prevent multiple applications or users from updating the same portion of a file at the same time next next move to architecture GPFS provides high performance by allowing data to be uh, accessed over multiple computers at once. Most existing file system are designed for a single server environment and adding more file servers does not improve performance. GPFS provides higher input output performance by stripping blocks of data from individual files over multiple disk and reading and writing these blocks in parallel. Other feature provided in by gpfs include high availability support for heterogeneous cluster data sorry disaster recovery security okay hsm and ilm right so according to shakmark and uh, uh, haskin a file that is written to the file system is broken up into blocks of of a uh, configured size less than 1 megabyte each these blocks are uh, distributed across multiple file system nodes so that a single file is fully distributed across the disk array. This results in high reading and writing speeds for a single file as the combined bandwidth of the many physical drives is high. This makes the file system vulnerable to disk failures. Anyone disk failing would be enough to lose data. To prevent data loss, the file system nodes have read controllers, Mul multiple copies of each block are written to the physical disk on the individual nodes. It is also possible to opt out of read replicated blocks and, and instead store two copies of each block on different file system nodes. Okay. So uh, this is architecture and if we talk about other features of the file system, it includes distributed metadata include the directory tree. Okay, so there is no single directory controller or index server in change of the file system. This is contrast to Apache, Hadoop's HDFS whose name node is a <coughs> single point of failure. <coughs> Next efficient indexing of directory entries. For very large directories, many file systems are limited to a small number of files in a single directory, often 65,536 or a similar small binary number. GPFS does not have such limits. Next, uh, distributed locking. It allows for full POX, full POSIX file system semantics, including locking for exclusive file access. Next. Partition aware. The failure of the network may partition of may partition the file system into two or more groups of nodes that can only see the nodes in their group. This can be detected through a heartbeat protocol. You know what it you know what is protocol? Set of rules and regulations. Okay. And when a partition occurs, the file system remains live for the largest partition formed. This offers a graceful degradation of the file system. Some machines will remain working. So file system maintenance can be performed online. Most of the file system maintenance chores, adding new disk, rebalancing data across disk can be performed while the file system is live. This ensures the file system is available more often. So keep the super supercomputer cluster itself are available for longer okay so so it is all about gpfs general parallel file system okay next let's talk about wfs window file system 
See, the Windows file system is Microsoft's new storage system for its upcoming SQL Server release, along with serving as a database for structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data. So, WinFS, I mean Win, uh, Windows file system, serves as a, a programming model that lets developer exchange data across application and organize data in more constructive ways. So according to Microsoft, it is not intended to replace NTFS on the new technology file system which is used in Windows NT, but will serve as a link between NTFS and Vista's applications layer. Initially, WinFS was Microsoft's storage system of choice for its upcoming Windows Vista operating system and WinFS. The the Windows Presentation Foundation and Windows Communication Foundation made up the so-called three pillars of Vista. In 2004, Microsoft announced that WinFS would not be included in Vista and in June 2006, the company said WinFS would be bundled into the next release of SQL Server <coughs> and would not be a stand-alone product. So, while Windows wrapped up control of the desktop market some years ago, it still has a way to go before it achieves complete domination in the corporate server market. That's why the last few years have seen a rise in the number of server offerings from Microsoft as it moves toward higher-end computing. Windows 2000 represented a major improvement over NT in terms of enterprise stability and scalability. Windows 2000 saw the launch of AD, Active Directory, the Microsoft Enterprise Directory offering. The Windows Advanced Server The Windows Advanced Server Limited Edition offers 64-bit processing with up to 16 TB of addressable memory. At the high end of the Microsoft operating system spectrum, Windows 2000 Data Center Server and SQL Server 2000 support up to 32 processors. Thus, Windows can now complete well in the mid-range server marketplace if not at the highest end of the server market so along the way the company has also been upgrading its file system to add additional features liability and security needed for corporate users okay so friends uh, this is all about gpfs and wfs i hope you you must have got knowledge thank you thank you very much Thank you.